Good morning, YouTube. Today is one of those I need coffee days. Uh, it's about 7 a.m. here. My client is running late, so I'm sitting here waiting on him, killing time, and it's making me sleepy. But uh, got a busy day today. Um, got some consultations and trying uh, clients to train this morning. You can tell I'm sleepy. Can't talk. Uh, yeah, I have uh, clients to train this morning along with some consultations and then I gotta hit a leg workout. So, busy day this morning, but I'm ready for it. It's nice outside. I feel like I got the energy, so um, ready to attack it. But yeah, just checking in with you guys while I had a moment. I will check back with you later on today though. What's up guys? I just got done with my leg workout. Sorry I didn't get any footage today. I didn't have anybody to work out with. And I wanted to just hurry up and get the workout done. I didn't want to have to worry about setting up the camera. So I apologize for that. Just know I was working really hard. As you can tell, I'm all I'm soaking wet, sweaty. So, uh, but yeah, about to go home and get something to eat. Uh, if I'm eating something other than chicken tacos, then I'll record it for you. But chances are I'm probably gonna eat some chicken tacos. So, but uh, okay guys, check back with you soon. Another first for me, riding. What's it called? I-8. I-8. I always want to say R-8, that's the Audi, but this is the I-8, guys. Probably never see these on the road. Actually, never will. <laughs> I've never seen one in person. It's awesome. Achieve. First time trying this. First time trying to achieve blue rice flavor. Free workout. Bottoms up. That's amazing. Like that amazing. Like, you know, there's no acidic. Like, yeah, the yeah. There's, there's there's no tart tart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. It doesn't make you go like. Mm, it's not chemical. like that. Yeah, make yeah, that face. Exactly. It's like. Uh, mm. Dude, I like that, man. Good flavor guys. Achieve. Getting ready to hit a push workout with Christian and Daniel. Late on a Saturday afternoon. Hey, what's up people? Welcome back. Uh, before I start this commentary, I want to let you guys know to stay tuned to the end of this video. I'm going to be going over a very important subject that I really feel strongly that I need to talk about so stay tuned for that I really want you guys to get that information uh, but for right now this commentary as you watch a push workout that I did with the fellas at the headquarters uh, during this commentary I want to talk about the three forms of muscle contraction okay so I'm gonna get a little scientific on you guys I'll do this from time to time I hope I don't bore you to death but I just I still want to educate you guys I want to educate all my clients I want to educate all my viewers the best that I can okay so, uh, follow me if you can, okay? All right, so three forms of muscle contraction. Uh, form number one is concentric, okay? Form number two is eccentric, and the third form is isometric, okay? Concentric is when you are moving the weight in the direction that it does not want to go, okay? That's the best way I can explain it to you. Uh, so, in this case, when the weight does not want to go up, and I'm pushing it up. So that I'm, that's the concentric motion, meaning my muscle is shortening. My pec, pec muscle is actually shortening. Eccentric is when you're letting the weight go where it wants to go. In this case, the dumbbell chest press, the weight wants to go down, so I'm allowing it to come back down to me. That's the eccentric motion. Therefore, my pec muscle is lengthening. It's getting longer. So the most neglected form of contraction is the eccentric motion, is when, when you're actually letting weight where it wants to go. I see a lot of people that, that um, don't pay that much attention to it. They, they like to just let the weight fall to their chest and let it bounce off their chest. And they're only getting half the benefit of the rep. Um, so, you know, you got to pay equal attention to each form of contraction. Okay, now isometric contraction is when your muscle is not lengthening or shortening, but it still has tension on it. Therefore, if I was to hold this bar above my chest for maybe a second or two before I started to push it up, there's still tension on my pec muscle, on my chest muscle, 
but it's not actually moving at all. There's just tension. I'm holding it. So that's the isometric contraction of a muscle. Okay. So I just want to go over each of those three with you guys because I want you guys to pay attention when you work out to, to each of the three. Um, therefore, you get more benefit out of your workouts. You, you, each rep, each set is equally as effective. Okay, I don't want you guys to only work half the time. You you need to work when you're when you're pushing the weight, when you're lowering the weight, when you're letting the weight go back up or go back down where it wants to go. You know, you need to pay attention to each three forms of contraction. Okay, so I'm sorry to get so scientific on you guys. I hope I didn't bore you to death. Uh, it was just a quick little science lesson about muscle contraction. Okay, you're getting ready to watch me do some push-ups here in a second where I was concentrating more on the eccentric motion, meaning when I was going down towards the ground and just kind of exploding during the concentric motion. So you see here I'm taking my time to get down to the ground, that's the eccentric motion, and then I'm exploding up on the concentric motion. I'm actually having an isometric hold at the bottom of the push-up as well, so I'm practicing all three forms of muscle contraction. Okay. Okay guys, so that's going to conclude this commentary. I do appreciate you guys watching. I was, I'm was i sorry I was talking so fast. I had so much information to cover. But I'm going to let you enjoy the rest of this video and I will see you on the next one. All day, all day. <laughs> Got the fire going. About to do some grilling on Saturday night. Check it out. Fire is like going crazy right now, but it'll die down and charcoal will be ready to cook. Um, gonna throw some black pepper chicken uh, with some white jasmine rice and stir fried vegetables. I'll, I'll show you guys when it's all done, but I'm starving after that workout. I'm hungry and ready to eat, so I'll show you guys when it's all ready. So, finished product. Like I said, white jasmine rice with some sauteed vegetables and black pepper chicken. It's kind of like an Asian food dish. Very good. Didn't measure the chicken, didn't measure the rice. It's a Saturday night, so I'm just kind of going in on this food. Can't wait though. See ya. Myself and the wife getting ready to go get some snow cones from Bahama Bucks. It's about 100 degrees out here in Texas, so some snow cones are really gonna hit the spot. Okay, so we just got here and the line is long. But I'll show you guys when we get inside. I guess everybody had the same idea. Bahama Bucks though. Check out that line. Wow, bunch of people in here. Long line. Better be some good snow cones. Sugar free, no carbs, no fats. Awesome. Now I feel better. <laughs> 45 minutes later for a snow cone. I got the white coconut with sugar free cream. It looks just like regular ice because it's white coconut. The wife got sugar-free strawberry with sugar-free cream and it tastes good guys can't even tell the difference between sugar-free and regular so I waited long enough for this so I'm gonna enjoy it and I'll talk to you soon what's going on people um, hope you guys have enjoyed the video so far I want to talk really quickly about a subject that always comes to the table when working with clients or working with just people in general uh, throughout the years that I've always struggled to to educate people on this subject so uh, I want to I need to say something about it really quickly um, the subject is weight how much you weigh and this is talking mainly to the females out there watching um, there are some some you know male clients that struggle with their weight but mostly uh, in my experience throughout the years working with female clients what they weigh is so important to them and I just feel that it's a little bit too important to to my clients, to to, to females in general, um, and it's just it's not right. Um, you shouldn't be chasing a certain weight, and so many females are doing that. So many females are chasing uh, a certain weight that they think they should that they should be weighing. So if they don't see that number on the scale, 
then they consider themselves a failure or they consider their program you know not working you know they, they don't think what they're doing is working um, my advice to you ladies and guys if you need it um, is to don't chase don't chase a certain weight on the scale don't chase a certain number that's on the scale chase a look that you're going for if there's a certain way you want to look a certain shape you want your body to be that's what you should be chasing after okay don't chase after a certain weight and the reason being is because sometimes you can reshape your body without having to lose as much weight as you think you have to lose in some cases you may even have to gain some weight you might have to gain weight to achieve the shape you're trying to achieve so whenever you get started on a program with your trainer or in your own personal program if you're working or if you guys work with me or whatever and you're you're going hard at it and you're doing everything you're supposed to do and then you step on the scale and it's been three weeks and you you're telling yourself man i better see a lower number i better get closer to that number i've always had in my head if you're telling yourself that you're already setting yourself up for failure you need to look at weight as just another form of measurement it's not the only form of measurement okay and i just i, I just i can't stress that enough okay i, I kind of touched on it on one of my videos earlier um that you know weight is it's not as relevant as you think it is now don't get me wrong there are people out there that have to lose weight they have to lose uh some pounds you know uh but i just feel that you know if if you feel really good and you like the way you look if you like the way your body is changing if you like the way you're starting to look because of all your hard work then you're heading in the right direction just because the scale isn't dropping in the direction you want it to drop or as fast as you want it to drop does not mean you're not making progress you know use all forms of measurements to really determine whether you're succeeding or you need to do more work okay so with my clients we take pictures we measure their waist their body fat we measure all their, their, their legs arms everything and we take the weight so weight is just one of maybe 13 different forms of measurement and it's not it's certainly not the most important okay the most important the first thing i ask my client is how are you feeling you know do you feel good do you have the energy do you feel better about yourself are you feeling healthier more energetic that's the first thing and then we compare their pictures we take pictures and we track their progress that way and i ask do you like the changes that are happening to your body i never ask oh do you like what you saw on the scale okay because a lot of times my clients just right now after working with me for a long time they really don't care what they weigh they just want to they want to look a certain way and that's what you should be chasing people okay chase a certain look so okay guys i'm gonna wrap this little rant up i just really felt like i had to touch i had to touch on that and i'm sorry if i'm bouncing around moving a lot i just got to working out so i'm kind of worked up right now and i just wanted to get this out and talk about it really quickly so thank you so much for watching i appreciate all your support i promise to keep the good videos coming okay all right guys see you soon